is Julie Waldorf, juliewaldorf.com, and thanks for watching How to Buy a Home. We're going to talk about pre-approval versus pre-qualification with a lender. Well, when you buy a home, of course, the best way to buy a home is cash, but most of us, almost all of us, have to get a loan, which is fine. That's the way the world turns. To get a home, you have to buy, you know, get a loan. So when you get a loan, um, and you're throwing an offer to buy a home, they want a letter from a lender indicating if you're pre-qualified or pre-approved. And the difference between the two is, pre-qualification is you spoke with the lender, they pulled a credit report, and they provide you with a letter saying, we have checked out this buyer, we pulled the credit report, they seem like they're good, their FICA score, with their FICA score, we'll, we'll be happy to probably, probably give them a loan. Um, with what they said they or what they earned and what they spend, um, yeah, if that's all accurate and true, we will give them a loan for this amount of money. We pre-qualify them. They did talk to a lender. We are the lender. If everything is true, what they said, we'll probably give them this loan. Well, if you want to be a stronger buyer and next, you know, almost as good as a cash buyer, you want to get pre-approved. What pre-approved is, is it's a longer process. You actually do, after you do, you know, fill the paperwork out. After you pick which lender you want to work with, you, you're committed. And what you do is you, you sign the verifications and, and authorizations that, yes, you verify. You go check out, you know, authorize you to check with my employer that I do work here and I have worked here for two years. Or here's, you know, my past bank statements and... You go ahead and check with the bank showing that yes, you can get the latest uh, bank statement if you'd like or, or um, um, you know, verify if you get any other monies in, whatever that may be, be it uh, IRA or, or, or just whatever, you know, they verify and you're giving authorization to do so and put a package together on you showing that you are who you say you are and what you do or what you earn and what you spend. And they also provide a credit report. And they put this little package together, and then they give it to the almighty underwriter. So the loan officer takes the loan app, then they collect all the, the processor collects all the information, and then they hand it over to the underwriter, and the underwriter looks at it and says, hmm, hmm, we may need another piece of paper or two. We may need the most recent pay stub, please. Or we may need, um, you know, the tax return for the third year, because two years is enough, we have to verify this extra thing, or, or some, just anything, just little things like that. And you jump up and you say, here, here we go. And they look through the package and they go, okay, yeah, we will pre-approve this person, a condition upon the appraisal of what property they pick. We have pre-approved them for this amount of money, and it's 99% go. All they have to do is provide the money and provide the house that they're going to buy. So provide their down payment in the house and we'll do this deal. So you're next to good as gold as far as, um, as, as good as you can be for being a cash buyer. So you have strength when you try to purchase a home. Say when you go to throw an offer at a home then and you provide a pre-approval letter with your offer instead of a pre-qualification letter, you're saying, yes, I went through the whole ropes. I can buy this house. I know I can. Bank is backing me up with a pre-approval letter, and it's only conditioned upon getting the inspection and the appraisal, and that's it. I'm almost cash here. So, so um, if your property is good and, and, and it passes inspection, I definitely can buy this house. There's no ands, ifs, or buts about it. So pre-approval is the stronger buyer than a pre-qualified. And if you want to beat out other contracts, that's really the way to go. If you want to be really prepared and not go through, um, uh, if you want to go through less brain damage buying a home, get pre-approval. I highly suggest that. So there you go. That's the difference between pre-qualification and pre-approval. Um, I uh, uh, highly recommend getting pre-approved. So thanks for watching. Um, we'll go to the next step of how to pick a lender. And thanks for watching. Julie Waldorf, juliewaldorf.com. Ciao, ciao.